Hi guys, hope you're well. I just wanted to share a success story with you today. Um, anyone who knows me knows that we've had a real battle with potty training to Diego. Now Diego's seven now and this isn't an issue anymore. Um, but we had real issues with bedwetting. I mean, it just goes to show how different two children can be. Because with Eva, we had her um, trained in the daytime by two. And then probably just a few months later, she was dry at night as well. And it was really easy with her. Um, and I'm thankful for that because I also had a newborn baby. Um, so it was tricky for me with Eva. I was, I was worried about what, what that might look like. Um, but then, so I just tried to do the same thing with Diego. So around the same age, you know, getting him used to the potty. And it was just for some reason, he just wasn't able to hold his wee at night. Um, daytime, he was dry straight away, just like Eva. And he took to that really well. But for night times, we really had problems. We didn't know if it's because Diego is quite a deep sleeper, um, because he's a very heavy sleeper. Um, and we thought, well, maybe he doesn't know he needs one. Um, so we left it till maybe about three. And then I thought, oh, maybe I, I, I don't know, maybe I need to ask the doctor. So I asked the doctor and they were just not interested. They said, look, wait till he's a lot older before you come to us and say it's a problem. So that made me feel better because I thought, oh, because you, you always panic that you're not doing it right. But we did have a long slog with Diego of getting him dry. <coughs> Um, and we tried all of the methods that were recommended by friends, family, um, and even online, like I tried to look for some stuff online because even so the doctor said not to worry about it, I felt a little bit, I don't know, like I, I didn't want Diego to be falling behind. So we even spoke to the school nurse to see if she had any ideas. Because we were just thinking, what well, if Diego ever got invited to a sleepover with his friends and I'm not sending him with pull-ups. So we, quite early on, we tried to get rid of the pull-ups because we thought that Diego maybe was just getting into a bit of a routine. Um, I mean, sometimes I'd go in in the morning and Diego would be laid on his bed like that, just weeing, in the morning, with his, in his pull-up. So that's when I thought, right, well, he's very comfortable with those pull-ups on now. He's not concerned at all about having a wee in bed. So we tried to take the pull-ups away from him, um, but I was just forever changing bedding. And we were getting told, make sure he drinks more in the daytime, and then make sure he drinks less in the daytime, make sure he's having plenty of wees in the daytime, <clears throat> make sure he has a wee before bed, lift him out of his bed while he's sleeping and take him for a wee in. Honestly, we tried so many things and it just wasn't working. I've got a list of the amount of ideas we were given. I tried everything because I'm one of these, I, I love people educating me. So if people say, oh, this works, I'm like, right, I'm going to give it a go. So I did, I tried every single one. But then what I ended up doing was um, I hit a forum on bedwetting and I was looking at things that had worked for people. And it's quite funny, isn't it, when you go onto a forum because you can really relate to some some of what people are going through it's like oh hallelujah thank god it isn't just us um and a lot of people were recommending a bed wet and alarm um so i purchased one actually off amazon I'll show you it so i purchased this one from amazon um so dry easy bed wetting alarm and this is what you actually get inside of it. So you have to put it together, but it's really simple. So you, you have to connect it. Um, you attach this end to the child's pants or um, pyjama bottoms, whatever. Um, I, you're supposed to attach this part to the, uh, to the upper part of the pyjamas. I didn't really feel comfortable having like that there and I was just really worried. So I ended up attaching one to his pants and then just one I just used to clip that one to the sheet on the mattress. I thought I'll just give that a go and see how we get on. Um, and then I also invested in a couple of portable urinals. So like a potty, um, but a stand up potty. Because by this point Diego was far too big for potties and I just thought it might encourage him to go if he can go literally in his bedroom rather than walk to the toilet. Um, so I invested in these um, urinals, which I attached one to his wall. 
um, and then obviously this bed wetting alarm. And what it does is it goes off when they have already weed. So it's not like it alerts them that they need a wee or anything like that, but it lets them know when they've had one. And I guess what it does is it gets them into the routine, I suppose, of getting up, turning off the alarm and going and finishing their toilet because it literally does recognise it from the very first drip. Um, so we tried it on Diego at first and um, probably a week to two weeks, the alarm was still going off. But what we noticed was by towards the end of it, and it wasn't going off every night either, but towards the end of it, it would just be a tiny little drip on his pants and then he would go to the toilet. Within three weeks, the alarm was hardly going off at all. And then probably a month later, he was fully, fully dry. Now it comes with like a reward chart and we did start using the reward chart but I feel like it turned into a bit of a negative experience because as you can see, um, he started having like a, a bit of a bad patch and he got really upset about it because it was visible on here. So for some people, the reward chart would work, um, but for us, we just chose to just leave that. I'm amazed that it's, it's far behind us now. Diego is completely dry. We have no issues. It's just a distant memory of the times when I used to be stripping his bed every single night. So I really rated this um, and it's not gifted or anything. I'm just telling you because I genuinely, uh, I think it's awesome. It worked for us. There's something in here that we didn't use actually. this which I probably should have been using it obviously attaches to his wrist or something I didn't even know um, so I never used this but the alarm is really really good you can change the settings um, it vibrates you can change the um, the level of vibration as well as the sound um, the volume um, you can change the type of alarm um, and all the settings are just literally on the back and then when the alarm goes, uh, or when on the side, and when the alarm goes off, you literally just press that reset button um, and then it should stop it. Now I've got to just quickly demonstrate this, um, but it is a bit loud, so I'll warn you. All right, I'll just... You can see... Fantastic. So while that did give us a headache the first few nights, especially because some nights Diego's just laying there like, Mum, come and turn it off. I'm like, you turn it off, you have to press the button. I would go in anyway, but it was just like, I have to get to his bedroom and turn it off. The whole time it's going, so the whole house like woke up at some point. And Eva especially, because she's such a light sleeper. She'd be like, Mum. I could get back to sleep after Diego's alarm went off. So yeah, it does come with a few annoyances as well. But overall, it solved a really big problem for us. Diego's bone dry now. I have the confidence that when we get back to a bit of normality, because obviously at the minute, we're not even seeing friends, let alone having sleepovers. But if that time were to come, I've now got the confidence that I could send Diego and not be worried about it. Um, I wouldn't worry about how he was feeling. Um, and it's, it's just brilliant. It's worked fantastically. So I'd highly recommend it. So it's the dry, easy bed wet and alarm. Um, I bought it from Amazon. I don't know if they still do it because I have this quite a while now actually. Um, but if you can find one or something similar, please use it. I do know actually that some um, schools, the school nurse can loan you one. I felt a little bit like I just wanted a new one that didn't have like a million kids wee on it. but. At the same time, it's it's cleanable. It's not like the weed's going to stick on there, so it's fine. This might just be the thing that makes a difference. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. As I always say, please do subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you again. Take care. Bye.